Do you know if your water that you drink every day is safe? JR, this is a very personal story for me, and I really wanted to share it with our viewers to make sure this doesn't happen to any of you. This summer, after having some trouble with our water, I did some investigating. As it turns out, my family and I have been drinking contaminated water on and off for about five years. Here's how. It's something we take for granted clean drinking water. No one thinks about them and so every time you open that tap to take a good sip of water, you just assume that it's great tasting and you don't think anything about it. But do you really know what you're drinking? After brown water flushed through my faucets one day this summer, I called for help. An irrigation specialist found I was missing a crucial piece to my sprinkler system. It's called a backflow preventer, something that costs under $100 and without it, my family was drinking contaminated water. And that's what a backflow preventer does. It prevents dirty water, potentially contaminants or pollutants getting back into your plumbing system at your house so you don't drink it. John Watkins from DHEC says without this piece, if your water company experiences a drop in pressure like a fire or a water main break, it's possible that the water can flow straight from your sprinkler system into your house. If you're putting lawn fertilizers down on your grass or you put a lot of Roundup out or on the grass and in the shrubs and you have a sprinkler heads that are below the ground, Certainly, the first thing you ought to think of is putting some type of protection on that water line. That means whatever goes on your lawn has the potential to get into your sprinkler heads and then come out of your faucet. DHEC tests showed our drinking water had an elevated level of 2,4-D, a common herbicide. And the same could be said for anybody without this piece. They're just cutting corners. They're saving a few dollars. And the backflow piece is buried underground. So if you don't have one, you'd never know it. If I left DHEC today, I could start my own landscape and lawn sprinkler company and I have no licenses at all. And sprinklers aren't the only chance for cross-contamination. A hose can pose the very same risk. We throw the hose into the pool. Now that's a submerged inlet and that line is now connected to your plumbing system in your house. If you leave your hose in water or attach it to a fertilizer can and once again there's a loss in pressure in the system, that dirty water can be pulled back into your drinking water, potentially poisoning your family. Certainly you don't want to be drinking that water in this pool. So they make backflow preventers that screw onto the spigot that will give great protection to allow water to fill the pool so you don't have to sit here all day and hold the hose. And this piece costs about 10 bucks. Two parts you probably never heard of, but are 100% necessary to protect your family. Well, DHEC recommends letting your water run for five to 10 seconds after it hasn't been used in a while to make sure that your lines are flushed and you are getting that fresh water straight from your provider. Now, I know a lot of you are asking yourself, do I have a backflow preventer? The best thing to do is call your irrigation specialist to find out. And the really scary thing, JR, I called DHEC. They came out mm -hmm. and tested my water after I found out I didn't have this piece. And it just so happens on the day that they tested, we had an elevated level of this herbicide. There's absolutely no way to test what Chris, Brady, and I have been drinking right. for the last five years because it would flush into your system and then take about 20 days or so and then flush out of your system. Now, now you said you noticed this, this and uh, probably got tipped off on this because the water was a different color, is that right? We, for, for five years, we never had any idea this was going on until finally one day we had brown water. Well, what happened was um, there was a drop in pressure and so some of that water from our sprinkler system got sucked back into our drinking water. And if that yeah. hadn't happened, I would have had no idea what a backflow preventer was mm. and had no idea that our property didn't have one. Obviously now we've gotten one installed right. um, thanks to our wonderful irrigation system specialist, Todd, <laughs> thank you so much. But like I said, there's no way to tell what we were drinking for five years. Anything that we put on our grass or sprayed for spiders or a dog happened to come in the yard and, and hit the sprinkler right. head. It would have to hit the sprinkler head, could be sucked back into our drinking system. If people have questions though, I mean, what can they do? Can they just contact DHEC? What can they do? You can call DHEC. They have a, DHEC for 30 years has had a cross contamination prevention and backflow prevention system. Mostly though, they focus on you and me not recontaminating the city's water yeah. because it back, you know, the cross contamination can go that way too. Things that we have put in our water then getting back into the drinking system. That's mostly what they focus on. You can ask them questions or just call your irrigation specialist and find 
find out from them if you have this piece. It's going to take digging your grass yeah. up. As you remember, we had our yard dug up sure. this summer. Um, it's going to take digging your grass up, but it is well worth it to make sure that you're protected. It's a $100 piece. All right.